You can now create and manage files and folders from the terminal. You can see what's inside a file and add some text to it with the echo command. But now, to get to more serious stuff, you need a tool to be able to do more than just add some text at the end of a file, for example. What you need is basically a text editor you can use to make any modification you want to a file and write complete files. And that's what we're going to see now. You're going to use the nano text editor, you're going to see how to configure it and then how to use it to write and execute basic bash programs, which we're going to see just in the next few lessons. And so we are back to our home directory. We have this. I'm going to go to my document folder where I have my GPL here file and the hello.txt. So in the hello.txt, we have three lines here. Now to modify the file with the nano text editor, well, that's simple. Nano, you can directly use the nano command and this is going to open the nano text editor. So nano and you can provide a name of the file that you want to modify, for example. So nano hello.txt, I press enter and you see we have a completely different view. This is the text editor. So it might seem complicated, but actually this is really not. So you have a cursor that you can move with the arrows okay, of your keyboard. Okay? So that's, you can just move anywhere you want. And then if you press any key of the keyboard, any letter, so you can press uh, enter, it's going to go back to a new line. You can press any uh, letter, so let's say hello world, I'm going to add a new hello world, and you can just add any text you want, okay? So I'm going to add a few more lines, so let's say a few more lines, and then just one, four, just any number of lines, okay? Any random text I can add, all right? And now I have modified the file. If you want to exit from the file, well, there is nothing to click on, okay? But you can see here at the bottom, you have some help. You can use, so this is control or command. So control X, for example, I'm going to press control X and you can see, do you want to save the modified buffer? Or in other simpler words, do you want to save what you've modified? So you can put Y or N, yes or no. I'm going to put Y. And then file name to write hello.txt, I press enter. And now I'm back to the terminal. And if I do cat hello.txt, I have, you can see the new text I have written before. So I can go back to it with nano hello.txt. Okay, and I can just, for example, remove some lines or modify the files. I can do whatever I want. What I can also do now is to save the file. I can just do control S, okay. To save the file, you can see here, route 20 lines, and then Control X to exit directly. So Control S, Control X. And now, so well, I'm going to do clear. And now if you want to create a new file and add some text to it, you can first do touch, create the file, and then use nano to go inside the file. But you can also do directly nano. Let's say I'm going to name it new file. I press enter, and then I can write so I can write here and here and here. Control S, Control X, LS. I see new file, cat, new file, boom, I have my file here. That's very fast. So as you can see, using nano in the terminal can really be much faster than having to use a graphical uh, interface, okay? Graphical interface, you will have to start the graphical interface, find the file, write the file, and then save the file in there and then come back to the terminal, etc. here. That's very, very quick and simple. And now as an exercise, I'm going to give you something fun to do. So for example, less GPL, you can see that the beginning is, uh, well, you can do whatever you want with this, but changing it is not allowed. So let's say you want to have fun with that and publish a license that is completely not valid. You can modify just this line to say that, well, you can actually change the license. So Try to do that with nano and then watch the solution. So pause the video and now here's the solution. So nano gpl3.txt uh, and now I can move. So you can see I can move with the arrow of my keyboard and I can just go back here and let's say that I'm going to put and changing it 
is allowed. Okay, I can do Control S, Control X, and now I have just modified the GPL text, which is definitely not valid anymore. Less GPL, you can see I have the modified text here. Okay, so if you just want to modify one part of a file like this, using Nano is very efficient.